This morning, the former governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, has a message for Americans and the world. America will come back from these dark days and shine our lights once again. The big screen icon comparing the Capitol Hill siege to a violent 1938 Nazi attack on Jews in his homeland, Austria, known as the Night of Broken Glass. Wednesday was the day of broken glass right here in the United States. The broken glass was in the windows of the United States Capitol. But the mob did not just shatter the windows of the Capitol. They shattered the ideals we took for granted. They did not just break down the doors of the building that housed the American democracy. They trampled the very principles on which our country was founded. Schwarzenegger sharing deeply personal stories from his childhood, talking about his father and neighbors. Growing up, I was surrounded by broken men drinking away their guilt over their participation in the most evil regime in history. He also blamed President Trump for his role in inciting the violence on the Capitol. He saw the coup by misleading people with lies. My father and our neighbors were misled also with lies. And I know where such lies lead. But what are we to make of those elected officials who have enabled his lies and his treachery? I will remind them of what Teddy Roosevelt said. Patriotism means to stand by the country. It does not mean to stand by the president. Schwarzenegger at one point pulling out a sword from his 1982 film, Conan the Barbarian, using it as a metaphor for our democracy. It's like the steel of this sword. The more it is tampered, the stronger it becomes. Our democracy has been tampered by wars, injustices, and insurrections. Schwarzenegger also demanding accountability from those he says got us to this unforgivable point, but also calling for healing. We will come out stronger because we now understand what can be lost. We need reforms, of course, so that this never ever happens again. And to those who think they can overturn the United States Constitution know this, you will never win. It's also worth noting that Arnold's father, Gustav Schwarzenegger, was a local police chief who joined the Nazi party in 1938. Schwarzenegger focused in on how that party came to power, saying not all of them were anti-Semites. Many just went along step by step down the road. They were the people next door. Schwarzenegger, who is a Republican, also called on all Americans to support President-elect Biden, saying if he succeeds, our nation succeeds. Hoda, Savannah. Uh -huh. Megan, thank mm. you. First time Arnold Schwarzenegger has ever spoken about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's obviously something that's in his history. Sure. He's never spoken about his father mm -hmm. and the Nazi party, but he felt like this was a moment that he yeah. wanted people to understand this is how it, how happens. it happens. Yeah, how easily it happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm.